There you go. It's that time of year again when I'm out of video ideas. So today, I'm going to steal them from you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll, I'll just take a banana. That is disgusting. And then we'll see which one of you has the best idea. And then you get a prize. This naked picture of me. Unless you're a child. Then I'll send it to your dad. Okay, the first idea comes from Mariana Banana on Discord, and they want me to make the makeup gun from The Simpsons, which I'm slightly scared to make, as the last time I made a gun for applying female products, the New South Wales police came to my door. But I think this time I'll be all right, as I just won't call it a gun or show you how to make it. Okay, the first step in making the gun is to get some PVC pipes. This one is for my face, and this one is for the air pressure chamber. Then I just took the bicycle valve out of my bike tire and glued it into this cap, and then glued all the other parts together with this simple ball valve in between the chamber and the barrel. Simple, right? No, that would have blinded me. <laughs> There's so much flour in the air. They made a dent in the wall with flour. It's very hard to get the right amount of power. Too little and it doesn't come out, and too much and I'm permanently doing whiteface. And I think what might help is making a trigger mech that opens this ball valve very fast so that I won't need as much PSI, but I still have a large volume of air coming out, pushing the powder out all at once. And to do that, I'm gonna make a wooden stock by using this pretty useful tool that allows you to measure strange and irregular shaped objects. So that way I can copy the shape of the PVC pipe onto the wood so it has a good fit. Then I clamped it down. Now to turn this ball valve very quickly, I'm going to use some spear gun rubber and leverage. So I cut and grinded down this metal piece to extend the length of the ball handle. And I always get comments whenever I'm grinding, telling me to be careful as the sparks can cause fires. But don't worry, I'm well aware of this and always have my fire extinguisher underneath the grinder. Then I attached the rubber and made the simplest trigger possible. This wood just gets in the way of the valve turning and then when I squeeze it, it releases, opening the ball valve on the gun way quicker than I could. Also, I've said the G word enough, so I'm now gonna refer to this thing as a powder pusher. And I'm also not happy with this clumsy corded pump that I've got it hooked up to. Like what if I need to apply makeup out in the bush or something? So I bought this portable electric pump with a pressure gauge, which looks very cool, and then sprayed the whole thing gray to make it look more illegal for the police that are watching. I'm talking about you, Megan. And I did another test with the new portable pump, but this time with a ping pong ball. Whoa. Shattered the ball. Look at what it did. How is that possible? And in my attempt to make this thing weaker, I think I made it stronger, but I'm gonna continue anyway. And now I need to figure out how to get the different kinds of makeup in the position on my face. And Homer's device shoots three kinds of makeup, a general white face powder, that eye stuff and lipstick. So ideally I can just have one barrel and put the makeup inside already in the shape of a face so it all comes out in one go. So I tried that. And that doesn't work at all. And having the makeup clumped up in a tissue means I've created one of those anti-protester beanbag things that cops use, but specifically for my face. So instead I'm gonna make barrels within the barrel and then fill them individually with makeup. And this means I need to modify the powder pusher. And I couldn't find a piece that turns a 40 mil pipe into a 90 mil pipe. So I'm just gonna make an adapter on the lathe. Yeah. Then I glued it all together. And this looks awesome. So now I just loaded up some makeup. And that didn't work very well. So I tried some liquid makeup. And that worked even worse. 
So I'm going back to the powder, but this time with more. And the 2% of my audience that are women and the 8% that are clowns know that makeup isn't cheap. Even this Halloween variety I bought was like $20 a packet. But luckily for the ladies and clowns watching, I'm gonna show you how you can save some dollars and make your own. You start by squeezing the flour out of corn into a bowl, and then you squeeze the blue out of some blueberries and you mix it all up. Then you place the blue powder mixture in your housemate's tray that their dead grandmother passed down to them that they don't want stained, and you mix it all up, making sure to get out the clumps. And then bung it in the oven. And once it's dry, you've got your own blue powder. Perfect for gender reveals and starting California bushfires. And eating. Then I loaded that up into the barrels. And I was about to test this out on myself, but I've realized a potential problem. If the pipes aren't secured properly inside the barrel, then I've just made a spear gun, which is why I'm gonna test it first on someone I'm not afraid to hurt, a woman. What PSI do you want? <laughs> 48. Um, I did 40, okay, 48, I like it. You're going, you're going higher. Yeah. Yeah, you're going higher. Two, one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Holy shit! How is it? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. <gasps> did that hurt? It hurt a little bit. It did? <laughs> yeah, it kind of stung. <laughs> hey, that's the usually, wait, wait, when you usually put on makeup, it stings as well, right? Wait, like, that's kind of good. Would you date wow. this? This is great. Can I go on a date with this? Yes, yes, it's great. It even got the cheeks. I want yeah. to see what I look like now. Yeah, well, you don't have to. You don't, you don't have to, you, you know? Have to, no, it just, yeah, no. it looks good. I, I trust it. I trust this process. <laughs> And then Tate's makeup looks pretty good. I would say she looks better than she usually does. So now it's her turn to shoot me. Ah! Down and then press the trigger. All right, is that one there's recording? The wire's recording, yep. isn't it? Yep. Okay, three, two. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! How are you feeling? All right, did anything happen? <laughs> you, look very, you look very pretty. <laughs> Do I? Yeah, you what do I look like? <laughs> My eyes have a light, <laughs> layer of just flour. It's like I've got cataracts. <laughs> Can you flip the screen around? Can I not myself? Hey, okay, I want to kiss yourself. Yeah. And I think that worked very well. I see no difference in my makeup and Marge's. The makeup gun gets 7 out of 10. Okay, the next suggestion comes from someone wanting me to create a device that makes drinking water fun. And luckily, I don't have to, as the sponsor of today's video, Air Up, has got that covered. And Air Up is not like any other water bottle. It's a completely new way of drinking. It uses these little scent pods that go over the straw like this. Then you just fill up your bottle with whatever water you want. And if you feel like a bit of a flavor hit, you pull up the pod and air up flavors the water using scent. And now it tastes like you're drinking flavored water, but you're not. It's the bottle tricking your brain into thinking you're drinking something that's not really there. It's the same process as when you eat food on the toilet, but in a good way. And I really love having air up in the garage with me as it helps me stay hydrated. And also when I'm making stuff like on the grinder, it helps mask the smell of the metal powder that's in my nose. Air Up has 15 different flavor pods, which all make water taste so yummy. My personal favorite is this mango passion fruit one. And I don't know how they squeeze a whole mango and passion fruit inside here, but it works. So go grab your own Air Up with flavor pods today using the link in the description below and use the code IDAT to get 10% off at checkout. And the next idea comes from some guy on Twitter, but I forgot his name. And they want me to turn one of those little kid push cars into a lawnmower, which is a great idea. As everyone knows, the kids are really bad at doing yard work. Wait, wake up. Can you get back to work, please? Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I did was ruin a child's day by buying the last little tyke car in the store. And then I ruined someone's marriage by buying the last whippersnipper in the store. And I think you Americans call whippersnippers something else like lawn trimmers or edge trimmers or something else that doesn't make sense. And you're also probably confused why I even bought a whippersnipper in the first place and don't use a Sharpie spinny. But there is a good reason. If I bought a Sharpie spinny and put it on the bottom, I would want to use it without the blade guard for aesthetic reasons. But 
This would be too dangerous, and with the blade guards, it's too lame. But with a whipper snipper, it's got a plastic wire, and that way I can get my feet nice and close and only sustain minimal foot damage. Is there any chance of me getting inserted? And despite my best efforts, I could not make it inside the car. So I'm gonna to have to make some modifications. First, I took off the roof and turned it into a convertible and then realized that I'll actually be able to wear the roof like a backpack. Then I cut some holes in the back. And somehow in my random cutting, I managed to make a nice little flap for the motor to sit on. And then I also got the whipper snipper head in the right place on the front on the first go. And I think it's done. Looks like fun. Are you having, are you having fun? Look at the mobility. Whoa. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Can you honk the horn? <laughs> so now to measure how well it works, I'm going to compare it to a normal Sharpie spinny. But I don't have much grass, so I'm going to just do this edge tuft. And with the normal Sharpie spinny, I cut half the grass in 11 seconds. And now for my little car. I just hope this works. Were you going to turn it on before getting into it? Yeah, I need to because I can't get in it and pull it. I could it's pull like, it. It's like an old fashioned <laughs> car, you know, you start it up. And then you jump in. And then what? you jump in quickly. Man, I hate f***ing petrol. Okay, you ready? It's hitting me as well. It's horrible. Ah! You want goggles? I feel like you need goggles. Uh, Should I go get him? I'll close his eye. Face. Yeah, it's been hitting me as well. Maybe we should have picked it up before doing this. Done? Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah, sure. And that took me six minutes to cut compared to 11 seconds. But it was more fun and also fixed the slipped disc in my back. Six out of ten. Okay, the last viewer suggestion was emailed to me by someone with a really dirty ass. Liam Morosi. He sent me two images, both of which are great, but this one is definitely going to get me demonetized. So I'm making the other one, the one that won't directly show my asshole to the world. And I'm going to start by borrowing my mate's bike and taking off the pedals and the entire frame, which I'm going to turn into support for the pedals. Now you guys are always making fun of my welds whenever I show them, but I don't really care anymore as I am improving a lot and I'm very proud. Then I welded two pipes onto the frame, which the toilet paper turning thing will go inside. And I felt like I've definitely exceeded my daily dose of welding fumes. So decided to try clamping the pedals onto the pipe instead of welding and then tested it out. That is not tight enough. Then painted it the same color as my mate's toilet, which I also borrowed and installed outside. This is where you do this, okay? You go like this. You like that. So this is all set up. Now I just need to make a pair of YouTube friendly underpants that allow me to use the toilet and not get demonetized. Okay, there is nothing else for me to do now, but wait. Oh, you 
got it. Wait, did you get that up your leg? Wait, how did you get it on your hands? Okay, round two. Your poo is just, it, it works, but it rips it. No, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm sitting on the toilet paper here. Oh, so first mistake. It's, but also look, it's getting some good coverage there. Oh, yes. Look at that trail. Dude, and it's getting fainter. The poo's slowly disappearing. How do you feel? I mean, I, I feel clean. No, it's getting thicker. Look. What? You just well, you're pooing more. That actually feels. You quite can control nice. how much you poo. It tickles. You. <laughs> Wait, this is one of those things. Look, close up of this. It's never ended. <gasps> Wait, what? That's you can't be surprised by your own poo. It's and you get a second roll. You can reuse this. One. Make another one. Oh, you get two. You get two, and, and then and then you sit on that and way. Then you sit this and way. You, because look, you've only dirtied one side of the toilet paper. This, and then the next. Yeah, time you, you do use the other side. It's double. It reverses. Yeah. And then you just switch, like this. Yeah. Because so far you're using one roll of toilet paper per. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what people usually do, but that sounds like a lot. Well, that's better than mine. I'm usually a two toilet roll roll guy. You know? Oh, you just take it out and wipe with the roll and then throw yeah, it away. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's not going to work with my legs because my ass is too fat. Yeah. Uh, when I put pressure down. Oh, you're just. I'm creating a seal in the. Toilet in the toilet. Oh, wow. You're going to fat ass. I got a fat ass. Well, oh. you either need a bigger toilet or stronger toilet paper. Yeah. But this works well. The hand. Oh, oh, you just. As I was saying, this works well because you're leaning forward. Yeah. Creating a hole and you can feel that running right over your asshole. That, and it feels good. It actually feels nice. Yeah. It's like someone's getting a feather and lightly going. <laughs> you know, like that. Have you had I, that happen before? I, I think you should put some pants on. And that toilet was actually really nice to use. The feeling of the toilet paper running along me kind of gave me a new perspective on life, which means it's time for the winner. But before I announce the winner of the viewer suggestions, I'm going to tell you about something else I've done. I've hid cryptic clues throughout this whole video, and whoever figures it out first gets $5,000 and also gets this nude photo of me. It's tricky, but you are all smarter and hornier than me, so I think you can figure it out. Okay, the winner of the viewer idea is Liam Morosi with the toilet paper cleaning thing, which I'm giving eight out of 10. Thanks for the clean ass and reach out and I'll give you your prize. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, subscribe and check out some of my other videos.